Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you have someone coming back around towards you, this person is coming in with an apology. They have regrets, remorse. I'm so sorry I hurt you. It was never my intention. Please forgive me. Now, collective, in the past, this person may come have come off as selfish, self-absorbed, greedy, egotistical, confusing. Um, I feel like this person was keeping keeping a lot of secrets um with a lot of secrets i don't know what this person had going on behind the scenes but something was definitely happening behind the scenes because you were not getting anything out of this connection with them it was all about them and it was all secrets and it was all nothing but problems okay if you're asking here, is this person trustworthy? Can I trust this person that's coming back towards me? The answer is yes. We have honesty and open here. Honor, integrity, morals, available, honest, transparent. I'm ready to go all in with you. My heart and mind are open to you in our future. I'm never going to lie to you. No matter what happens, I'll be honest and will overcome. So collective, it looks to me like this is someone that's coming back towards you with a whole different attitude. A whole different attitude I feel like this person came off as selfish and greedy and just that nasty energy because of a reason that you don't know about there was something going on behind the scenes with this person spirit tell me about the collective please tell me about the collective please tell me about the collective please Tell me about the collective, please. Oh, okay. So we've got the justice card here. We have the ten of swords in the reverse. Oh, wow. The knight of pentacles. So collective, this is the scales of karma balancing themselves out. Someone here put ten swords in your back, and I feel like they are coming to heal that. Okay, the knight of pentacles... We could be dealing with a Libra here, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but this is somebody that definitely wants to come back around to make things right. I'm seeing with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone that wants to have a very serious conversation with you. The Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So collective, this is someone that is really feeling horrible over how they treated you this person may have ghosted you okay i feel like this person wants to come in and tell you what happened okay like they want to come in and tell you why everything happened the way it did oh this person is really they're they're really they really feel bad for the way they treated you they know that you did not deserve this okay the Ten of Wands here and the Knight of Swords. They know they put you through a lot, Collective. This is someone that may have been very in and out. This is someone that may have said or done very ugly things to you. But with the Six of Swords and Temperance, this is someone that is hoping that you'll be able to forgive them and that it could be water under the bridge. We could be dealing with a Sag. The Six of Cups and the Star. This is someone that truly wants to heal the past collective. This could be friend, family member. It could be a love interest. With the Three of Cups here, this is someone that truly does want to reconcile. And with the King of Swords here, this is the man of the plan. Their intentions, the, their true intentions for the future here is the Ten of Cups. And I, I, I mean, this is someone that's really um, coming in seeking long term with you collective okay with the page of swords here i feel like they are gonna lay this bombshell on you okay i feel like the truth is going to shock you here with the tower and the high priestess this person is going to shock you with the secret that they had been keeping there is a reason why this never took off when you were with this person there is a reason why this person mistreated you kept you at a distance there's a reason why this person continuously sabotaged the connection with you and i feel that collective the truth is going to shock you and we are going to dig a little bit deeper into that in just a second okay all right tell me about this justice card for the collective <clears throat> we've got the two of pentacles Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Emperor. Okay. 
So collective, this could be an Aries or a Taurus, but it's definitely a divine masculine energy that is coming in to repair the damage that they've done. This is someone that juggled you. This is someone that hurt you, and they know that you did not deserve this. They're coming in to apologize for making you feel unworthy, for rejecting you, for pushing you away. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. This person may end up actually telling you about a third party. They may actually tell you uh, and be serious about what they had going on. With the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Death card, this person is maybe wounded in a way. They've experienced a very serious ending. We could be dealing with a Scorpio, but with the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups, they want to come in and speak their truth collective. They could be, you know, going through a heartbreak or maybe they've been through a lot and, and they just feel, I feel like when this person initially comes in collective that they're not going to jump immediately into, hey, let's get back together. No, I feel like the most important thing for this person is for you to understand what they've been through and how sorry they are that you got caught up in the crossfire between them and someone else and you didn't deserve that and and I feel like that's the conversation that one that needs to take place before anything else should happen okay tell me about the ten of wands here please the ten of wands here please and the eight of cups yeah I mean they are going through a difficult time because they're walking away from something and, you know, I, I feel like this person, they want to talk. Like, I'm getting this energy of, like, wanting to bond. The Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. This person may tell you, collective, I know I came off as crazy. I came off as a player. I came off as confusing. I know, you know what I'm saying? I know that, you know, I was just going through a difficult time. You know, and they want to tell you what this difficult time was. With the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, this is somebody that is saying, listen, if you can forgive me, you know, I would like to keep you in my life long term. Whether that's friend or reconciliation. Can you forgive me with the Seven of Swords here for lying, cheating, betraying you, hurting you? Do you understand? I feel like collective this X here is coming forward and making the right decision because with the hermit here, this is someone that really looked back at everything that happened between you and maybe this queen of wands energy. And they know that, I mean, I just keep hearing, they know you didn't deserve this. You know, they know you didn't deserve to get caught up in this disaster. Tell me about the star card here and the two of swords. I feel that, you know, collective, this person may have shut you out. They didn't want you to know about this scene that was happening behind the scenes. Um, this person may have blocked you or ghosted you, but they want to heal that. I feel that with the Three of Cups and the King of Swords here and the Hierophant, this is somebody that would be willing to go long term. And I'm talking like marriage. This could be a Taurus, okay? Okay. Tell me about this King of Swords energy and the Wheel of Fortune. So collective, I mean, this is coming back together in divine timing. And I feel like whatever this person's telling you, you may actually feel like it's a little too good to be true. So you're trying to remain in control of your emotions here. Because the last you know of this person, they were sitting in Knight of Wands energy. So you just, you're not going to know what to make of this. Tell me about the Ten of Cups here, please, for the collective. And the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> this person is really ready to give to a relationship. Go into a partnership and work with somebody. With the Eight of Pentacles <clears throat> and the Page of Swords, this is someone that may actually vocalize and tell you, you know, I, I would like for us to come together and work as a team, maybe buy a house, get married. You know, with the magician here and the ace of pentacles, 
this is someone that's going to tell you all the things that they want to do in the future but even better they're going to tell you the truth of all the things that they held back in the past because i feel like collective this person does know that if they get another chance with you they have to do it right with the three of pentacles here they can't expect to have a proper reconciliation and really be able to look towards the future when with the four of pentacles and the moon card they're holding on to secrets i feel like with the world card this person completed some type of cycle here and you're going to be shocked when you find out what this is so let's take a look here and see what this secret was okay spirit tell me about this high priestess and the tower <clears throat> excuse me what kind of secrets was this person keeping from the collective what secret was this person? We've got the two of wands and the devil here. So this could be a representation collective that this person had a drinking habit, a drug habit, that there was someone else in the picture maybe. With the king of swords and the two of swords, this could be a representation that this person, um, you know, maybe they had a drug habit and they went to go see a doctor and they're off of the drugs now. With the six of wands here and the ace of swords though, the news that you're getting comes with a happy ending it's going to be explained to you why you were pushed away do you understand so whether this devil was another person whether it was an addiction it, it was something that was really toxic in this person's life they were battling a serious demon here and again it could have been another man another woman or it could have been a family member it could have been depression anxiety suicidal thoughts gambling drinking um you know whatever it was whatever it was this person with the king of swords and the two of swords cut it out of their life and they can come to you and tell you the truth and tell you i'm healed now i'm better now do you see what i'm saying <clears throat> but this is why maybe this person was sick maybe they had a disease you know but whatever this truth is they <clears throat> they're going to be honest about it they will be honest about it tell me more about this devil card here page of wands they're, they're just going to talk about it they're going to talk about it okay uh, i feel like these are general readings a lot of people watch them so it's going to be different for each person but it's important to note that the ending of their story is going to be <clears throat> i overcome the i overcame the devil i overcame the devil and i'm healed now i'm better better now and i'm ready i'm sorry i had to push you away but i wasn't ready for this but i'm ready now okay they're coming in open, they're coming in honest, and they're coming in ready to heal this and get serious, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so very much, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my darlings. Darlings.